This is one of my favorite tantric books, Tantra Illuminated by Dr. Christopher Wallace or Harish Wallace. It's freaking amazing. It is so good. So I thought I'd just read you a little bit. We're on page 362. Uh, and this feels really relevant to a lot of the questions I get when people are like, oh, I'm feeling this, or I'm feeling that, and I don't want to be feeling this, and how do I get rid of this feeling, and da 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 da, da. Let me read you this out. All right. <clears throat> a, a tantrika strives to see every state of mind, every mood and feeling as a gift of the goddess. The tantrika has two modes of learning about her true nature, learning from states of expansion and learning from states of contraction. It is an absolutely false view to think that one mode is better than the other or to measure your worth as a human being or competence as a yogi on the basis of how much time you spend in an expanded state and how much time you spend in a contracted state. True expansion into the fullness of your divine nature begins when you radically relinquish all such dualistic judgments. Such true expansion takes little or no effort to maintain, for it means entering into our true nature. Whereas the dualistic type of expanded state takes effort to maintain, for we're still caught in the pair of opposites in every pole must eventually give way to its opposite, that is the natural law. All states of mind, all emotions or moods are vibrations of the Shakti, manifestations of the one goddess power. Therefore, the Tantrika experiencing anger or fear or desire acknowledges that this is a vibration of energy that all energy is a manifestation of the goddess and therefore bows to her own emotion, whatever it is, with heartfelt gratitude saying, oh goddess, thank you for coming in this form. What do you have to teach me? And note how very different this is from the anxiety-ridden self-censorship of the so-called yogi who believes that he or she has fallen from grace or is out of touch with God because they are experiencing a negative emotion. Such a person will not learn what that emotion has to reveal if their only goal is to get back to feeling good as soon as possible. And for such a person, that emotion will revisit again and again since they've failed to open to it as a teacher and thus failed to integrate its energy. And it's not saying there that the emotion is a lesson. What it's saying is to open to it as a teacher, you see. There is an enormous amount of energy locked in negative emotions that we cannot avail ourselves of without this basic self-acceptance. So when we rise above self-condemnation and accept ourselves and what we are feeling, that energy naturally reveals its beneficial quality by pointing us to a deeper experience of our authentic nature. So let's drop this term negative emotion altogether since it usually means emotions we should not be having. But on this path, there is no such thing. Cast aside forever the notion that one state of mind is better than another and that you should be feeling this way or that. We accept what is. We work with what comes. We do as sadhana, a practice on the basis of reality. Tantrikas must not fear pain or intense feeling of any kind, including fear, or think it ungodly or they cut themselves off from a huge source of life energy. Tantrikas are sometimes called vedas, heroes or adepts, 
because it takes heroic courage to look clearly at our pain and not push it away saying, that's not me, but rather embrace its power. All emotions are energy and all energy, Shakti, can empower us. That's the essence of the path. Uh, and that is the empowered means, right? It's there's three skillful means to liberation. The individual means, the empowered means, and the divine means. And the empowered means is working skillfully with the mental, emotional body and the energetic body. And that really is the core. Like I say, yeah, I'm a yoga teacher. I'm not working with the physical body so much. I'm working with the mental, emotional body and the energetic body based on the teachings of Tantra. Um, like, it's just so extraordinary, powerful. And so the gateway is to feel whatever's there and to embrace it. Now we talk about devouring, digesting, and dissolving. And it is such an incredible game changer. Uh, and when I work with clients or students, I'm supporting them to feel safe enough to go in and feel the uncomfortable, challenging emotions and learn how to rewire themselves so that they can meet them, so they can devour them, so they can digest them, and so they can dissolve them. So, yeah. Highly recommend, if you're interested in Tantra, this is the Bible. Highly recommend this book by Crystal Wallace. Check out his teachings as well. And if you have any questions about meeting, devouring, digesting, dissolving emotions, just drop them down below. Alrighty. Big love to you all. And blessings on the goddess, right? Blessings on the goddess for this unfolding.